So this next situation here is when my partner is actually able to count me. When I try to do the first Toriano and try to pop his foot off the biceps, he sees the opportunity, he places his foot on my hips and then he breaks the grip. So he's gonna make a huge extension on my, to my hips, to my body, I'm gonna be extend and he's gonna have the chance to go back either like a spider or lasso spider. We're gonna begin simple with just like a one foot on the biceps. And then when I see what it comes, I have to take advantage of this moment. I don't wanna let him regain the control again then I have to start over, right? That's what the first state the guard passes like. You have to start over every time that you do something and then your partner count you, you have to reset and then start over, right? So on this situation now, I'm here with João and then when I create the reaction, I'm trying to pop here, he's tying me. He places his foot right on my hips and he yanked my grip here. So now, what I need to do here, he's gonna try either like a palm on one leg from top, we're gonna talk about this, or I use the foot and the biceps first. He's not gonna put both foot and the biceps together, he's gonna choose one side, right? So as he chooses one side here, what I'm gonna do it is I'm gonna walk my knee towards the opposite side that he did not put the foot on my biceps. And then now he's exposed here for a leg drag. So what I'm gonna do it is I'm gonna like a big step back with my other leg, releasing the pressure, then I'm gonna throw. Even that though that if he's holding me here, like at this hand here, it's chill, this leg is gonna go. It's very hard for him to hold me when I go because my elbow is going off, his elbow is going off the ground, right? Off the ground, and then I'm throwing his leg. You can chill, keep holding, John. So if you keep holding, I'm throwing his leg, now I wanna advance my knee right on top of his uh, leg, and then isolate his leg down. When I isolate his leg down here, I'm going to retain this grip tight and I'm going to lock my elbow on top of his, of his uh, leg here. So here now, you know, like, uh, since I'm like, I like a little bit uh, uh, modified leg drag to old school. So from this situation, I like more to actually reach my arm from top is one of the things that I like to do. Thumb inside the collar, reach my arm from the top position. Now, this arm here, I'm gonna begin to drop all the way as I wanna choke him on the ground. Then I walk to the side on my toes. Then I'm passing the guard here with a modified leg drag here with a, almost like a stack pass using the cross face. So let's go once again. I'm here with draw. I'm moving as I'm going, place, count me. I'm already advanced. I can also advance one side and force him to take the side that I want. As he take the side that I want, before he actually use the other leg, I take advantage right on the momentum. Back up, back up, throw, knee and drop on top. Keep punching this leg back, use my knee on top. Try to recover the leg here and recover the leg. Now, turn inside the collar. Now my elbow is gonna begin to go on the ground, this hand I can place also here, begin to walk slowly, elbow on the ground, check the hips, then we pass the guard. One time, motion, 